Hello you wonderful people and welcome back to part three of Astro Crash Course where we built the ugliest website. Well, at least we did it for learning purposes. It's not pretty. And in today's video, we're going to fix it by installing Tailwind inside our Astro app by following these amazing instructions in the doc. And then we'll talk about how to make our website pretty without having to write our HTML, CSS ourselves. I'll provide you with a template and I'll tell you why that's important. But with that being said, if you didn't see the previous video, go check it out where we covered the basic structure of Astro components, talking about the front matter, the content area, where you're able to write JSX like syntax with your inline JavaScript. We talked about how to style your project with basic CSS and the fact that you could run vanilla JavaScript to make our buttons and websites interactive like we see here. But in this video, we're going to fix this ugliness by installing Tailwind. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is install Tailwind 4. And we could easily accomplish this by running the following command. So go ahead, copy this command, npx astra add Tailwind. And in our terminal, make sure you're inside your client folder for our Astro project, go ahead and run the command. It's going to go ahead and tell us, hey, we're going to install Tailwind 4.1.11. So let's click yes for continue. It's going to go ahead and install all the dependencies. And it's going to create a folder called styles with a file called global.css, which is going to import our Tailwind. So of course, we're going to say yes. And to finalize the changes, it's going to go ahead and add our V configuration using our Tailwind plugin inside our astro.config.mjs file because we are using Tailwind plugin via V. And so let's go ahead and click yes. And finally, for us, we will need to copy this import command and we're going to reference it in our layout to allow us to use our Tailwind CSS. So back in our Astro project, let's navigate to source. Let's go to our layouts, layout Astro, scroll to the top here, and don't forget to add your front matter. And inside here, we're going to post our reference to our global CSS file, which is found in our styles folder, global CSS, and notice we're importing Tailwind. And what this allows us to do, it allows us to now start using Tailwind. So what we could do, we could go ahead and remove the style because you're not gonna use it because we're now using Tailwind global styling. So next, let's navigate to navigate to our components and we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it test component dot astro. Perfect. And we're going to go to chat GPT and we're not going to log in. We're going to just do it here. We're going to say make the most beautiful landing page you using Tailwind 4 and click enter. It's going to go ahead and make the most beautiful Tailwind for us here. And it gave us some extra code, but all we need to do is just copy the header and the section and the features and the testimonials. Oh my God, it's making everything for us. What's the point of learning to code? Well, it's fun. And when things go wrong, how do you know how to fix them? Because sometimes AI makes stuff up. But, you know, I love AI, but I also love coding and learning new things. And that's why we're here. But we're going to take this code snippet and you could generate your own with that prompt. And I do want to share, you know, don't be shy using AI, but also learn how things work behind the scenes. And we're just going to paste it in here. So here we have our header section. Everything is styled via Tailwind. And this is why I want to show you why this is awesome. And now we could go ahead to our pages folder inside our index at Astro. Let's replace the welcome with our test component, just like this. And let's import it here at the top. We're going to say import test component from dot dot components, test component. Nice. And if we take a look at our website and re and make sure you restart your project by running yarn dev, 
and let's try that one more time refresh and boom we have our beautiful website done for us with chat gpt and the reason why i wanted to show you this not to say that you should always use chat gpt but idea when you're building a website this concept of moving fast so using something like astro able to add tailwind and easily find Tailwind templates. And instead of chat GPT, I'm going to go ahead and share a template with you that I used for Shuffle. So we're all on the same page. If you take a look at my dashboard, you will see that I have a template here that looks weirdly familiar because this is exactly the project that we built here with Astro. And so the idea now with all these tools that are coming online and everything that you do, you don't have to build things from scratch. You could find these templates and modify them to your needs, but you should still develop the skill knowing how to write things manually. But we're in 2025, we have AI and it is a tool that could either help us be productive or make us spend all our money in prompting hell. But that's a whole different conversation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this template with you and I'll make sure to link it in this description below so you could have the original code. I'll make sure to download it, but I'll also share the notes with you in the description where if you have a code snippet that I want you to use to save some time, you could use that as a starting point. But with that being said, what do we have so far is we have our basic Astra application we install Tailwind, which allows us to easily add Tailwind HTML. That's gonna be beautiful and styled. And just to show you this one more time, if I go here to my shuffle template and I find this snippet and I copy this HTML and I copy this section and back in my code in the test component, I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove everything and I'm gonna paste in my new snippet. Nice, and now that I have here, if I go back to our project, you're gonna see that we have this new layout. And so this is cool because we could easily utilize already created templates, or we could use different tools uh, to generate different projects with AI, or we could write and create our own stuff. But because this is a lesson more about getting started with Astro in the crash course, I'm assuming that you have some basic CSS and Tailwind knowledge. And so instead of spending our time building things from scratch, we're just gonna see how we could connect everything and make everything work. And in the next video, we're going to get started by building out our project. And we're going to start with the top navigation and the footer that we have here. And more importantly, we're going to see how to pull data from our Strap application. For instance, if we go to our content manager and we look at our global, notice that we have our data that represents our banner, our header, and our footer. And by the way, if you haven't taken the Strapy crash course to build this backend, I highly suggest to take that course. It's going to be in the description, but I also showed in the beginning of this video how to set this project up locally so you have access for it. And I do have this project deployed to Strapi Cloud. And I know in the past I said I could create a public endpoint for all of you to connect to Astro Project, but I think, you know what? Pull the project locally. I showed you how to do it in the first video and it's going to give you a much better experience because not only are you going to have your Astro front end, but you will have your back end with all the different fields and data. And then once you're done with this tutorial, you could modify your Astro project or your Strapi application to fit your needs and use it as a template to build additional websites for your friends, your clients, or whoever. So if you didn't take the Strapi crash course where we built this back end, I highly recommend that you do. But with that being said, I will see you in a little bit where we're going to start building out our header section and learn how to load our data in our Astro app to populate our content. So get a quick break, get a cookie, get some tea, whatever that you like, and I'll see you in a little bit.